what up youtube this is daniel rucker with true table welcome to the table gentlemen gentlemen we have so much to discuss <laughs> but before i get started before i get in here it gets cooking because you know you know you know that's what i do right you know that's what i do over here go ahead and hit the like button go ahead and subscribe little fun fact for those of you guys I don't think I've ever shared this on my channel, but I don't usually write things down. Um, but I do, I draw motivation from real life. I draw motivation from observed experiences of people, um, my own lived experiences, content that I may view. And then I formulate, turn on the camera and get going. Wrote a couple things down, more so just topics I wanna to discuss because, excuse me, there are things that do need to be discussed and we're gonna get into it i'm gonna get in the kitchen i'm gonna give you guys this word because my men i believe there's just still so much that because of the social conditioning and how things are you're being duped you're not reading the room you're not quite understanding the social moves and things that are necessary in order to continue to capitalize and win. And more so what I'm talking about is in the world of dating. If you choose to do that, if you choose to interact with these women, me personally, I joined the He-Man Woman Hair Club a long time ago. Um, we still got some slots open. So gentlemen, put your applications in, run your background, we'll see if you qualify. <laughs> but anyway, today's topic, you can't be nice to women. You can't. Why do I feel that way? Why do I think that way? I believe that there is a key component. There's a balance. You know how they say there's a line, there's a thin line between love and hate? Well, there's a, there's a thin line between asshole and nice guy. And as a grown man, and as a high value man, a thriving man, a, a man of substance, a man of purpose, a man that is about his his business, you know, holding it down, taking care of things. I believe that a man like this understands the beautiful balance between asshole and nice guy. Now, what I find happens a lot of times, all guys are nice guys. This is what I firmly believe. This is my output on it. This is my outlook on it. This is my perspective on it. I believe all guys are nice guys. I believe that all guys grow up with pure intention, good intention. And whether that be because it's just the nature, whether that be because it's cultural, whether that be because of, you know, upbringing, social conditioning, whichever, however, it doesn't matter. I believe most, if not all guys, are nice guys. And what, it, what ends up happening is that experiences, rejection, life, reality hits. And a lot of guys take on this new persona that now they cannot be who they authentically are. So they have to put on this new layer of skin, per se. And they try to exemplify and echo an energy that is more on the side of being an asshole, an a-hole, right? And I get that. I totally understand. I went through my transition as a young man as well. From 17 to about 21 was where my whole development as, as far as being a young man changed. Where I went from being a, a simp to understanding more so about myself. More so about what it was to really be a man in development form. But anyway, back to mainly the topic. You can't be nice to women. Why is this? Being nice to women, gentlemen, is like... <clears throat> okay, you ever go to those um, those, those wish, wishing wells, the, 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 the fountains that are in like most malls or anywhere, shopping places or whatever, and you see like hundreds, if not thousands, of like pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters, right? People just throw these in there, you know? They throw it in there because others threw it in there. And they throw it in there because somehow, some way, you're taught 
that if you throw a penny or throw a quarter or throw, you know, a 50 cent piece or whatever type of coin currency you have, that it's going to bring you good luck. Fellas, I believe socially, that's exactly how we're taught when it comes to women, that if you're nice and you make a deposit and you give her a compliment and you give her attention, that you, you, you increase your the likeliness of you hitting the jackpot. You increase the likeliness of you getting good luck. Women, fellas, that is a lie. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. What I have found is that the journey of self is really the most important part about the equation that is a man and a woman, and especially in the space that is romance. Why is this important? Men, if they haven't told you, if you haven't heard it, you're going to hear it today. Women need us. Not only do they need us, they want what you have to offer. They want what is the benefit package that comes with a man. Why can I say that? Because women don't, um, by nature, want to waste their time hanging out getting to know investing energy in a man that she's not going to directly benefit from it's just not common practice what it is fellas is that you have to be someone who she feels or thinks is valuable and the problem is is that most guys are trying to be a nice guy but not working on the aspect of what do I really have to offer. Now, let's not get it twisted. I don't want you to think that what I'm referring to is is tangible. That's a part of it. A lot of times what um, people place emphasis on when it comes to men is that your values truly is derived from what you have in your wallet, what you have in your bank account, what you have in your stock portfolio. I'm here to tell you that's not true. Men are very valuable. Men are tremendously valuable. And the value when you understand the wholeness that is a man, the, the, the fullness that is us, a woman benefits from you because of just the way your mind works, just the way your temperaments are, just the way the fact that a man can look at the same situation that a woman can look at and see different angles on what's going on with that. But I'm not going to go too far down that road i'm gonna i'll do another episode in reference to that you know get a little bit more into it but the point i'm trying to make is that the nice part using the reference of the 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 fountain you being nice to a woman is like you throwing a penny in that in that wishing well in that in that that fountain it's gonna go unnoticed no one is going to walk through the mall that day and notice your penny or notice your dime or notice your quarter and fellas This is exactly how most women treat the attention and the energy you give them. You are essentially another penny, another dime, another quarter to her already full bank. And the problem is, is that men don't know how to differentiate themselves from the rest of the currency in the same water, in the same fountain. Now, I don't have time today to get into how exactly to separate yourself and stand out amongst the pack. I will definitely do a show about it because I know you guys want to know. I know you're dying to know. And I'm going to kick you that game. But this particular show is about not being nice to women. And why am I saying not be nice to women? I'm not saying be rude and disrespectful. I'm not saying forcefully put energy into mistreating women that's not what i'm saying what i am saying is that your treatment to her your attention to her fellas your good nature for example should come with the buy-in price of her respect her attention and her energy towards you you gotta start moving in the way that a woman should be petitioning for your attention. A woman should be giving you 
the respect that you deserve one as a person first and then also as a man you being nice to them and overly nice is really what i'm referring to simp behavior overly complimentary you know always attentive to them i've watched guys where they can be in a full-blown conversation about something relative and important and a woman walk by and help and you know give her some stranger attention now don't get me wrong fellas i'm not gonna sit here and cap and say that women have not caught my attention of course visual creature but at the same time there is hmm, an acknowledgement and there's a And, and, and that's, there's a difference. Being nice to women, gentlemen, is not going to get you laid. It's not going to raise your credit score. It's not going to change your social circle. It's not going to make you taller. <laughs> it's not going to do anything relatively beneficial to you as a man. Men need to understand that it's totally okay being yourself. It is totally okay being all that comes with the high octane adrenaline based beings we are. And that being nice to women is not going to yield you more results than being yourself. So that's what I wanted to touch on today. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. And I and I think I dropped some gems along the way in this particular broadcast so i will expound upon them in the coming days in the coming weeks got some more you know episodes some more content coming to you guys like i said i've been busy i'm exhausted right now <laughs> but i'm not gonna stop bringing you this content because it's necessary and i believe it's needed so go ahead and hit the like button go ahead and subscribe to all my new subscribers welcome to the true table family i appreciate you continue to rock with your boy and until next time, peace.